there's a plank that I think is one of the most important things we can do to juice our economy, and that's to get ourselves 10,000 new businesses every year. Sound like a lot? Sound crazy? Hear me out. We need to think big. Those jobs are going to be in all areas, not just in tech, though a lot of them will be there. Now, how are we going to do it? First, we need to bring back the full research and development tax credit, not cut it like the Harper budget does. All Canadians, through their government, have a role to play in encouraging business to do the right thing, and investing in R&D is the right thing. Second, we need to take a bigger, longer look at our tax rules for tech companies overall. I believe we need a policy where our companies can defer taxes if the proceeds from a sale of the company are going to be reinvested right away into a new tech business. That'll keep money moving and investing in Canada in exciting ways. And you should check out my video about a super fast internet. That's part of the infrastructure we need and it'll make a big difference for lots of companies we haven't even thought of yet. But enough with the snooze fest. There are a couple of other things we need that everyone should dig in on. We need to teach entrepreneurial skills at a young age, including in primary school. There are some really exciting programs that we need to champion across the country to get this done. We've always known we need to teach critical thinking. Well, I think we need to teach risk-taking and opportunity-grabbing, too. You can and we will encourage that kind of a culture. I know that this is a provincial issue, but believe me, if it's up to me, that's going to be on the agenda whenever we talk. And the final thing links back to that, encouraging culture. We need leaders like me who are willing to use the fact that they get public attention to talk about encouraging this. It sounds too simple to work, but it will. We need that culture in government. We need to take risks and leaps forward. And know that will spill into the private sector. We need to talk to the private sector about it and to go along with a new education push. We need a prime minister who's ready to work hard and take the opportunity to talk to kids about this. They need to hear from a leader about what they can be. And it's so much more than the silence they're hearing now.